Hello everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video I am going to talk about some of the HTML based extensions that you should have installed in your VS Code. So these are some of the extensions that will help you in writing your HTML code better and faster. So sit tight and without any further ado, let's get started. So let's go into the HTML marketplace and here you just have to write HTML and you will see all these extensions appear and the first extension that we are going to see here is the HTML boilerplate. So there are some boilerplates that the VS Code by default provides. So those are HTML. You have to select this HTML colon phi and this is a simple boilerplate that you get and the second way of getting this boilerplate is by just writing an exclamation mark and press enter or tab and you'll get this boilerplate. This is the one, but here this extension provides a little bit more. It's not that much. So if you want that little bit more, then you just install this extension, go here and type HTML and here as you can see one new option has appeared just click on it and there you go you have this uh, HTML boilerplate written on your uh, HTML document so this is one extension then after the second extension is the HTML preview now this extension can be very useful so here if you install this and as you can see here these are some shortcuts that you can use to toggle your html preview so let's just test it out so here is our basic html boilerplate so let's just open our preview first so Control shift and v so this is our preview window let's put it here so that we can see them side by side so now let's write h1 that is heading one akash and as you can see it has shown the preview here so let's write h5 and as you can see it is showing the preview here so it is totally real time i'm not even saving this html file and it is showing me the preview so this is pretty good and you can use it to see a quick output of this in the preview window so this can come pretty handy so this is one extension that is html preview so now the next extension is class autocomplete so if you want your classes to be automatically completed in your HTML code, then this is the best extension to do that. Now, how this works is you uh, just first have to obviously install this extension, but after installing, it will not work out of the box. So first of all, what you have to do is whatever CSS file that you have, you will have to link it. So here I'm just going to link one CSS file and that is the bootstrap file so here I have this uh, bootstrap CSS file which I'm going to link so I'm just going to copy this so I'll paste it here slash and then in CSS and I want the bootstrap.css you can also take the bootstrap.min.css now I'll save it and if you see here then it says that you will manually need to start it through the command palette and you just have to write scan linked CSS files so we have just one file that we have linked so let's open the command palette with the shortcut control shift p and we just have to write scan linked css files as you can see here just click it 
and as you can see here in the bottom it says that finished extracting CSS classes and this many classes were found so let's test it so here I'm just going to have a class so let's write D flex so as you can see it is showing me the suggestions and if on your side if because of something it's not showing the suggestions then you can restart your vs code or just write uh, the css class and press ctrl and space and it is going to uh, load the suggestions and in this way you can have the suggestions of css classes this can be very useful if you're using any frameworks like bootstrap or any other framework then with this extension you can just load all the classes and you can have suggestions so that uh, you can auto complete your classes and you can write your code faster so this is the class auto complete extension for html now let's uh, preview this so control shift v which was for preview and let's go here so this is the preview that we get but at the end of the day this is just a preview in your vs code and what if you want a preview on your browser so don't worry i also have one extension for that as well so you just have to write here live server and the extension that i'm talking about is this one it has 8 million installs so this is a pretty popular one so let's install it okay so as you can see that this uh, live server is installed and to run this you just have to press on this button go live at the bottom so now let's go on to our html file so as you can see here at the bottom there is no such button so that is because i haven't opened a workspace or uh, a folder so what we have to do is we have to open a new workspace or a new folder for this to work so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cancel it and i'm going to create a folder get it inside that folder and then after i'm just going to open it in vs code and now as you can see here at the bottom we have this go live button so after opening a workspace or your project folder in the vs code you will get this option for go live so once you go live then it is going to create a local server and run your html code there on uh, your default browser so this is the output for that so as you can see here it is running on localhost and the port is 5500 so this is how the live server works and if you see here then it is showing us the message that the server is started and it is showing us the port number here so if you click on it again then it is just going to stop the server so this is the live server extension and yeah that's it so these were all the extensions that i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you like this video if you did then give it a thumbs up and share with others so i'll also be uploading videos on extensions that you should have for different programming languages like c c plus plus java python and different web technologies like javascript node.js so all those videos are also coming really soon so stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload those videos then you get a notification so do all of that and i guess that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one